Hi, I'm Nikki, and for this guide, I'm going to show you how to set up the starting point for a mill file. And you might also hear this uh, reference as your user mill. And the reason we're going to do this, uh, when you're milling, the box he doesn't understand the relationship between your mill bit and your material, so we need to tell it where it is for today. So it's important to note at this point we have already created our file that we want to mill and our material is securely clamped to our mill platform. So we're going to open the clamp on our attachment mount and carefully insert our router. So while the bit is hovering over the material, we can use the bit as an alignment tool um, to set up our starting point for our X and Y axis. Make sure uh, your machine is on and connected in your interface, and we can use the interface to uh, manually move our attachment mount. Now that we have our mill bit in the position that we want to start in, we are ready to tell the machine that this is our starting point for our X and Y axis. So for that we're going to use a command called the G92. So in our uh, G code line we're going to write G92 and it's good to do this in all caps and then space X0 Y0 and this is saying that the position that we've chose is the X0, Y0 position. And at this point we can hit send. We're gonna want to make sure that uh, the G92 took. So we're gonna use another command and it's a G1 command. The G1 command tells the machine to go to a certain spot. So since we just told the machine that it is at the X0, Y0 uh, position, we're gonna tell it to go to the X0, Y0 position. So I'm gonna hit G1, space X0, space, sorry, space Y0, and then when we hit send, the box, you should not move at all. So now that we have the X and the Y uh, starting point set up, we're gonna to wanna to do a very similar process for our Z axis. Carefully unclamp the attachment mount and lower um, the router where the bit is resting on your material. So we're going to use our manual controls and our interface to move our material either up or down um, until the outer cylinder of the router is about flush with the bottom of the attachment mount. Once we have our router in the position that we would like it, we are going to do the same sort of G92 command that we did previously, this time for the Z axis. So in this uh, G code line, we're going to click, and again in all caps, I'm going to type G92, which is telling the machine where it's at, and we're telling it that it is at the Z0 position, and I'm going to hit send. And then to double check to make sure that um, it took, we're going to do the G1 command telling it to go to a position and I'm going to do G1, Z0. Again, make sure your uh, attachment mount is still unclamped in case for some reason it didn't take. And we're going to hit send and the machine should not move. Alright, so now that we have our starting point set up for our mill file, you are ready to either um, Clamp your attachment mount with the router and the bit resting on the material and start your file. Or what a lot of people like to do is uh, clamp it with the bit raised a little bit. And you can do an air pass just to make sure that you're in the position that you actually want to be in. And those are the steps you're going to want to take to set your new user home for your X, Y, and Z axis when you're going to start a mill file.